Hey guys, DT here with a quick unboxing video. Uh, this is something I just brought home. I picked this one up from a fellow collector looking to unload it. It happens to be another Wolverine statue. My Wolverine statue collection is getting rather large. As I mentioned in some previous videos, I am pretty much done with getting yellow Wolverines. I have quite a few. I don't really think I need any more. I do have a Weapon X. I recently ordered another brown one as well, but Wolverine is my favorite character, so I thought it would be kind of cool if I got different versions of him. So this is one that I've always wanted. It's based on the artwork of Mark Silvestri, and it's a cowboy Wolverine. So I thought it would be unique to the collection, kind of unlike any other Wolverine that I already have. This one is a custom, and I was able to find this one for below retail. All right, so here we go. We've got a nice art box right off the bat. Sometimes with customs, you don't get an art box. You just get a lot of foam. You know me, I don't really collect art boxes, but it is nice when they make an effort. We got the Sylvestri Wolf on the side. Pretty cool. I'm not really sure if this is the top or the bottom, but uh, we're gonna open it up and find out. All right, looks like we got it the right direction. Nicely repackaged. Uh, this one looks like it's got quite a few different portraits right here. The original owner said he only used one portrait. I will probably do the same. I'll be using the white cowboy hat because that is what is on that original art. These look pretty cool as well. We've got Logan smoking the cigar. Again, unmasked portrait, blue eyes, crazy Wolverine hair. Some nice glistening there on his skin. Same thing going on here with the neck. Got some nice veins in there as well. Pretty cool portrait. But like I said, probably won't be using that one. All right, so I'm guessing this is the one that you can put a hat on because obviously he is missing the top of his head. Uh, that would not display very nicely without a hat. So <laughs> let's see if the hat is in one of these. Oh, and there it is. So we open up door number one and we get the white hat. So let's go ahead and see if we can stick that on him. Oh, so this, it looks like this hat doesn't go with this guy. So we get a brown hat and two, well, they're gray hats, they're not white. Let's see if this fits on him. Yep, it does. So this is the brown hat Logan. Looks like he's uh, right out of Yellowstone. Got that nice uh, bull right there on his hat. Some nice color variation there, also around the brim. I like it, but uh, it's not brown in that cover, so uh, I might not be using that one. Try one of these hats on, there we go. The trouble with hats is that if you light these things from above, you get a big shadow on their face, or if you're looking at it from above, you really can't see uh, the details of the face. But if you got this thing displayed high or you've got kind of up lighting on this thing, it shouldn't be a problem. Most of my Wolverines in the collection are on the very top of my X-Men setup and I've got up lighting on them. So he's got the ponytail, the uh, lighter gray hat here, just like in the cover. I'm not sure if this is the one from the cover because in that one he's kind of looking downward. So we'll have to see. And I'm guessing this hat goes with this one. Yep. Very similar to the last one. His uh, sideburns or mutton chops are designed a little bit differently. So this one goes further down to his chin and this one kind of stops there at his cheek. The artwork, you can't really tell how far it goes down just because his traps kind of block it, but it looks like it continues farther down. Not quite as thick right here. Kind of follows along his jawline a little bit tighter. Here are the two together. This one, it looks like he has a wider looking face. This one, a little bit more slim. This one, he definitely has a bigger chin, kind of squared off. And this one, he's got more of a pointy chin. I'll show you how all of that looks once it's on the statue. So let's see what else we got in here. It looks like we have a few different arm and claw options. Uh, the claws look like they come already installed. And uh, these are Real metal claws. They look really nice, really sharp. If you have an intruder in your house, you can just grab off this arm and use this as a weapon. You know. Here's a look at that hair detail paint. 
Nice well-defined muscles there in his arms. He's got the veins going up the shoulder. A little added hair up there as well. Looks really good. It's more of the same with this hand and arm combination. All right, looks very similar to that arm, but this one, uh, he's got clenched fist. Both look pretty good from here. And then here we have more of a bent arm and also a clenched fist. Got a couple different arm options. Maybe you can interchange them with each other. All right, looks like that's gonna do it for this top layer. And we come to the bottom layer. Uh, looks like we've got the base and the body. All right, so here is a look at that body. Uh, like I said, he's got the yellow suit on, but as you can see, it's been kind of torn off here at the arms around the neck. The same stripes that you see on the yellow suit with the same stripes here on the sides. So it's kind of a hybrid between typical Logan statue with jeans on and a suited one. So I thought that was really cool. He's got here a matching belt buckle. It goes with the brown hat. The uh, gray hat, I forgot to mention, does not have a little emblem on it. It's got the brown leather belt, jeans with the pockets, a lot of cool details in those pants. And then down here, he's got the designer cowboy boots. He's got some nice tight jeans. You can really see the bulging calf muscles. But nice shading there in the abs, the chest, and uh, in the back muscles there. Look at those rhomboids. Because it's a Sylvester Wolverine, he looks a little bit more slim. Not as short and stocky as you see some versions of Wolverine. All right, in here, oh wow, we even get a cactus. I don't recall where this story takes place, if it's in Texas or maybe up in the mountains of Montana, but we get a cactus. So it's out in the prairie somewhere. I think that's my first polystone cactus. And then over here, what is this? Is this like a proximity piece? Doesn't look like it connects to the statue. We get a skull with horns, a broken horn. So obviously this animal died in battle, lost part of its horn and then uh, lost its life. Cool looking skull with some uh, vegetation here. We got like a felt bottom. Put it wherever you want, I guess. And then we get the uh, main base right here. Looks like it has a pretty small footprint, which I like, especially with smaller statues. You don't need a huge base when you're dealing with a museum style pose character where they're just kind of standing there, uh, especially a small character like Wolverine. We got uh, basically rocks from the prairie same matching uh, vegetation that we have on that little smaller piece. And then more rocks and kind of like a muddy, dried up dirt texture there. Very uh, natural, out in the wild feel to it, which is a lot different than uh, most of the bases that either have like snowy bases, sentinel bases, or stone bases. Here's a look at the bottom, Sylvester Wolf. This is a quarter scale. They made 40 of these. This is number 12. Got a nice picture there, but there you go. So that was uh, my little close-up unboxing. I don't think it's gonna be hard putting this thing together. So uh, let me do that, and then I'll give you guys some pics of it. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the description down below. I think there might be a few available. If you guys are interested, I can send you in the right direction. Enjoy this detailed look at the Sylvester Cowboy Wolverine.